Hey friends, tonight I'm hanging out at Hollywood Studios. Recently, I've been seeing a lot of changes happening here and some new additions, you know, like the Hollywood Studios sign that's missing now and some Christmas decorations in October. So this is gonna be fun. Let's go do this. It's so nice to see those Christmas decorations starting to come out of Hollywood Studios. Like last year, it was amazing over here. I absolutely love Sunset Boulevard during Christmas. And I am so excited for Hollywood Studios Christmas this year. I mean, I just loved everything last year. And it actually pulled ahead as my second favorite park. Magic Kingdom will always be my favorite park during Christmas, but last year Hollywood Studios really stepped up their game and they jumped above Epcot. So, I'm excited. And I mentioned some signs that were missing. And right there, that iconic Hollywood studio sign, right before you go back to Star Wars Launch Bay, is gone. I don't know if they're redoing it or if it's gone permanently. I don't think it'd be gone permanently. I mean, I really like that. It was actually my thumbnail in a couple of videos. I have not seen them shooting out water from the SS down the hatch in such a long time. Look at that. Really awesome. And once again, not a single person waiting to see poor Olaf. Only a five minute wait. Right? So sad, isn't it? Oh! Ah. Jojo, what's up, man? <laughs> One place I want to go kind of explore a little bit is the Backlot Express. Because I haven't been down here in a while, and frankly, I don't even know if they're open. Look at this. Not a single soul down here. I used to love this. This used to be my favorite quick service, actually, at Hollywood Studios. And notice, there's no loafing around in here. The inside of the Backlot Express has definitely changed over the years, but they still have some cool little tidbits that I always remember to check. The time clock is still over here. I still wish I could just actually take one of these out and just stamp it for somebody. Hmm, maybe A or K Ford, Carly Ford. I'm just ding ding. Right here, they used to actually have the original stunt car used for Benny the Cab in Roger Rabbit. It's nice that they kept some of the artwork up though. You can see that, isn't that pretty awesome? You can see a little more over there. Pretty cool. Even though Benny is no longer here, it's still a pretty awesome quick service place. I came to Hollywood Studios not only because I wanted to see the things that were changing and the new Christmas decorations that were actually popping up, but I wanted to ride Toy Story Midway Mania. So I'm going to head on over to Toy Story Land, but before that I think I'm going to stop at Baseline, see if they got any new beers. On our way over to Baseline, I did want to point out that they did announce that we are getting new scenes for Star Tours when the new movie drops in December. Very excited for that. Ah, here it is, Baseline. Definitely top five of my favorite places to get a drink at Disney. And I guess it's safe to say it's Beer O'Clock. I decided to go with the Golden Road 329. They actually give you a little fanciness, and I like it a lot. Hmm. Well, this is kind of fun because we're going to walk through Star Wars Land to get on over to Toy Story Land. I think that's interesting. Rising moons and Till the Spire. I love Star Wars Land at night. I mean, this is amazing. The only time I've actually been here is during the morning time. I did early, early magic hours once. And then also I did the annual pass holder preview with Jackie. But wow, at night, this is phenomenal. I mean, look at that. Look behind me. All right, it's time to transition from Batu to Andy's backyard. And look at this, Alien Swirling Saucer is a five minute wait. I say yes. Oh, when Alien Swirling Saucers is five minutes, you hop on that and you ride it. I'm so excited because during Christmas, they actually do a ride lay over here and it's all Christmas lights and Christmas themed music. Oh boy, gotta find, gotta find our spacecraft. I'll take this one. This one! Oh. 
Attention toys, please remain seated. No lamp sitting. Absolutely so much fun. I love this ride. Isn't it so pretty here at night at Toy Story Land? Now we're gonna head on over to Toy Story Midway Mania because like I said, I've been really wanting to ride this ride for quite a while. But I'm not gonna film much on there because I really wanna see what kind of score I get. I think that happens every time I come to Hollywood Studios. I'm like, I'm gonna ride Toy Story Midway Mania, but I'm probably not gonna film it because I'm gonna to be too busy trying to get a high score. I will show you the results though, only if they're good. But in the slight chance that I end up doing not so good, I'm basically just gonna act like I never even wrote it and you guys wouldn't even know. Game on. We're not gonna talk about it. I didn't do horrible, but I didn't do my best. And with that poor performance, I think we're gonna leave Toy Story Land for the night. Bye, Woody. Bye. There is another thing that I have not done since it changed, and that is Star Wars Launch Bay, because Darth Vader swapped with Kylo Ren, and I haven't been over here since then, so we gotta go visit Lord Vader. And this time of the night, there are no waits. Look at that. Look at this, no wait. I think we're gonna go do Darth Vader first, and then Chewbacca. Oh, whoa now. You are a scary individual. Rebel transmissions have intensified. Tell me what you know. Are they preparing an offensive? Yes. Very you offensive. Speak to an Imperial commander. You will tell him what you know. Expect to be summoned and questioned. Thank you. <laughs> I believe it's like our memory. You have to go now. <laughs> Don't get scared, you're bad on some of them. Thank you. Wow, I love Darth Vader, but I'm also very excited to meet Chewbacca, and it's awesome that both of these character meet and greets are no wait. Like, literally, we are walking right in to see them. Four, okay. Whoa. Thanks. Come on over here. <laughs> oh, what's up, man? Oh. Oh, handshakes only. Thank you. I appreciate that. He likes the beard. Oh. So kind of. I like your beard. He's had, you know, a while to grow it out. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye. You're my favorite. And since we met Darth Vader and Chewbacca, we might as well meet BB-8 because there's no wait. You're right. Hey. Look at that little guy. <laughs> Hello, this is Patrick. <laughs> Thanks for your hospitality, BB-8. Have a great day. Bye. So that was pretty awesome. We got to meet all the Star Wars character in Launch Bay in literally like 10 minutes. All of them had no waits. Nobody was waiting. We literally just walked in. So the question is, if you're a Star Wars fan or if you're not a Star Wars fan and you see there's no wait to meet a character, do you go still meet them? But how about a change of subject? Let's get some ice cream. And normally when I'm at Hollywood Studios and I want to get some ice cream, I usually go to Gertie's for the soft serve. But since Gertie's is very rarely open, kind of seasonal, we're going to head up Hollywood Scoops. Look at that. Hollywood Scoops, Hollywood Tower of Terror. So I might actually get this apple crisp a la mode. That sounds pretty delicious. 
but they have plenty of good options. Brownie sundae, a hard root beer afloat, plus your traditional ice cream sundae. Ah, decisions, decisions. Wow, look at this. There it is. That looks amazing, doesn't it? I've never seen anything like that. Seriously, I really enjoy this. It's really good. I mean, the ice cream is just ice cream, vanilla ice cream, but honestly, that apple crisp and this strudel, that's what is the big seller. That poor apple crisp a la mode didn't even stand a chance. Wow, it was so delicious. It was only $6 too. That's not that bad of a deal. But there is only a couple minutes left, actually two minutes left until the park closes and the Tower of Terror is only a 13 minute wait. It smells so good in here. to ourselves. I tell you, it is so thrilling to have your own cart. Seriously, that was fantastic. If I can recommend one ride to actually ride the last of the night and try to get something all to yourself, it would be the Tower of Terror. Fantastic. So, I think that's going to do it for me. The park's closed now, and uh, I think I'm going to go home. So, love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, we walked out just in time for the finale. Bum, bum, bum. One more thing. Thanks for saying hi, Bryson. You made my night. I hope you have a great time here.